surprisingly, there's a lot of technology that goes in the game of baseball, uh, from how we put things on television to how we put it on the internet. And there's a lot of stuff that we have to do to try to bring the game to the fans and really be relevant in the 21st century. Computer vision, I think, is a really important thing, especially when we look at the historical uh, category of what we have in baseball. Baseball's been around for a long time. And so consequently, we have a lot of footage and a lot of nuggets of history that are buried in that archive. But the cost of trying to do everything manually is just too high. We are hopeful that we can federate different types of automated analysis to maybe help us understand better what is happening in that scene. To find that, that special something that we just didn't even know we had. We partnered with NYC Media Lab to sponsor a competition to do automated video annotation. The goals were sort of multifaceted. We wanted to engage with students. We wanted to give them an opportunity to look at real-world data, real-world video, and, and play with it. We wanted to see what, what they came up with. So at NYC Media Lab, seed projects are baked into the corporate membership. They're an opportunity for our corporate members to really frame a challenge and put it out to the NYC Media Lab community. We set up the challenge infrastructure, all of the contest rules, took MLB's assets and essentially made them available to researchers all across the country. So we reached out to about 65 different universities and the faculty and students um, were able to download the assets and um, apply their technologies to, to the video files. My submission was the, to automatically detect the location of the camera given the image and once you get that information you can start to extract other useful information like where are the players, where is the ball, uh, what kind of important events occur in that video. We submit a video file. On top of the original broadcast video, we have a script saying what kind of information was happening in the same time. The other file is a readme file basically introduces what we have done technically. So we have introduced all the algorithms we are using. We divided the complete video into shots based on a shot detection algorithm. Each shot was represented by a keyframe, and each keyframe was annotated a special category of view. And depending on the sequence of how the views was followed, we decided whether the sequence is a highlight or not. We're pleased and surprised by the approaches that different universities took. It, it was definitely cool. It was cool to see what people came up with. It was good to see folks enthusiastic about the project. And ultimately, the quality of work was very impressive. A lot of faculty members actually came back to us and said, we'd be interested in holding our class on this, or we'd be interested in designing a capstone project on, on a challenge like this. Typically, we look at uh, fundamental problems and try to uh, solve them from, from, from our perspective. But I think having an application drives the research further. I think MLBAM actually gave that opportunity for us. This is one of those technology areas that's perfect for NYC Media Lab. There's a ton of interest in the universities, a lot of fundamental research going on, and a lot of big problems in industry that need to be solved. We, like so many other corporations, get very head down, focused on what we're doing here. And NYC Media Lab has allowed us to bring students in here and just sort of riff on what we do every day. Most all of the students who came through had no idea the amount of technological prowess that we demonstrated. All this stuff um, collectively sort of raises our profile amongst the universities and amongst the students. Overall, we thought it was a great experience and we really thought that this is exactly the type of thing that the New York tech community should be doing for outreach to our universities.